And we're back with 843 TV. With me now is Charlie Clark from the Hilton Head Island and Bluffton Chamber of Commerce. And just wanted to kind of get started talking about the new year and, and how businesses can be marketing themselves this year. You know, things really kick off at the first of the year. That's for sure. The chamber is in high gear. Lots of things are happening. Lots of folks are planning. And, you know, for a lot of businesses now, marketing is one of the biggest things they're looking at for the coming year, depending on where your fiscal year lies. But people really do take to heart that January 1st, what am I doing with my business? And if you're a business and you aren't doing that, well, then you woe to you. You, yeah. <laughs> you should be doing, doing that. that. You should, you know, it's been said that many of us plan our family vacations more than we plan our, our business plan for the year. Scary. You know, they sort of let business happen to them. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I think this year in terms of marketing and what's happening, there's lots of opportunities coming up. The Chamber always offers opportunities like Business Expo is right around the bend. We've got a great uh, leadership conference coming up right around the bend. And so there's just always an opportunity for you to, to kind of plug in and figure out how to maximize your marketing. And I would assume the return on investment. I mean, people need to be cautious with their marketing dollars. So you want to make sure you're getting the most bang for your buck. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And you know, there are now so many platforms to play with in terms sure. of marketing. You know, marketing for your business used to be relatively simple. You know, it used to be a simple process. No, not not, not anymore. anymore. You know, you've yeah. got to meet your customer where they are and where are they is always a big question. That's cool. And Charlie, you, you mentioned that you know, they let the businesses happen to them instead of them planning their businesses. Overall, do you think that most small businesses plan to increase their marketing spending this year? Well, you know, national research is, is showing that in 2013, about 67% of businesses, small businesses in particular, have said, yes, I'm going to spend more on marketing, which is great news. And that really sort of, sort of lends on, on what we're finding. We've got preliminary results back from our membership survey. And that's telling us, you know, businesses in the low country, it appears they're pretty optimistic about what's coming. They're optimistic about their revenue. They're optimistic about their financials. They're optimistic about their staff. The thing they're telling us, though, from a national perspective, and you can see where it filters down to the low country, their number one concern in the, when it comes to business for 2013 is economic uncertainty. Mm -hmm. You know, where is the economy headed? Number two, they're concerned about consumer spending. Are consumers going to spend more? Um, and that's relative, you know, relative to consumer confidence. And also health care, with what's happening in health care. How is that going to impact my business? And so at Business Expo, we're going to be talking about health care and how it's, what it's going to mean to you. We're going to have some insurance experts there to explain what it's going to mean for your business in 2013 and beyond. That's great. Yeah. How is uh, how is uh, the social media affected small business marketing? You know, it's amazing. It's affected in very positive ways, and also it still seems to be when we ask people, "What do you want to know more about?" Marketing my business always comes up as number one among businesses. Number two is always social media. What do I do with it? What do I do with it? It changes so fast. Yeah. It changes it's grown so, so fast quickly. you can't keep up with it. You know, at Business Expo in February, we're going to have something pretty unique called the Social Media Bar. It's literally going to be a bar with social media experts where you can walk up. Ask all those questions you want to ask, and, and you have someone one-on-one -on -one to help you. We have a plethora of folks here in the Lowcountry, businesses that are chamber members, that can really help you dial in, help you measure your results, because a lot of people are slapping up a Facebook page, or they're tweeting, mm -hmm. and they don't know they if it's no really, where it's going is it effective, or is it not effective? So this is a great opportunity. We're also going to have a seminar series on are you maximizing your electronic, your digital marketing, and are you maximizing your social media? So it really gives you an opportunity to ask some questions, get some great information, and figure out if you're doing what you need to be doing when it comes it's to like social media. It's like a second media. job. It oh, is, for that. sure. People okay. underestimate that. You know, people think you can put a Facebook page up or social media and, and then it's everything is great, and that is so it's not the not case, the you know. It's for the, it has to be constant. Well, I've constant. even caught myself looking on my Facebook page and it's like I'm reading and then you waste away 20 minutes and then you don't even post anything. I'm yeah. like, well, that was a waste of 20 minutes of my life. <laughs> like, Engaged. But you have yeah. to keep it as a business. Okay, I'm going to go on here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to check my pages. I'm going to update my pictures and do something productive, and then it's like 20 minutes yeah. later, you didn't do anything. Well, even on top of that is, and what about the analytics? You have to look at the back doors of these things. Uh, sure. You can do all this work, and if you don't do the analytics, or you have someone looking at it for you, you have no clue about your return on investment. And you that's don't tough. Know. That well, is and tough. Well, especially you have to be you know, conscientious about how you spend your time as a business owner. I know. Yeah. Well, you know, it's funny too, with social media, we have as a destination, our HiltonHeadIsland.org website has done incredibly well this year so people are more and more obviously electronic media in every format is is we've gone from to 1.5 million wow. visitors to that website our social media has doubled our facebook pages have doubled our twitter wow. followers have doubled and that just doesn't happen you know we have somebody that's dedicated doing that and so businesses really need to make sure that not only are you going to put it out there but do you have the resources to to work it and back it up and the person coming to expo is going to be talking about all those little quirky things you don't think about like what's the best time to post 
Right, sure. um, what are some things I can do for engagement that are going to bring me double my return on investment that I've had in the past? So it's some nice little tricks of the trade that I think will be helpful to businesses in the low country. Well, and that's really important too because, you know, my core clientele is between 45 and 60, so they're kind of just jumping on that bandwagon. You'd be surprised. You know, one out of every seven people on the planet is on Facebook. That's ridiculous. It's, you know, and a lot of, a lot of, you know, this is something that really spans, obviously, with Gen Y and Gen X. They're in compl incredibly engaged. That's almost the exclusive they're almost communication. They're engaged yeah. Exclusive. Yeah. There's if no there privacy left in the world for that. Right. Group. But older generations are also embracing it because, you know, that's a great place to communicate, share pictures of the grandkids, right. talk about your family vacation. Mm -hmm. You'd be amazed. And most people think it's a, you know, there's a delineation line of cutoff of when people, there really is There's isn't. really not. Well, I think now that it's become more common and people are starting to understand what their privacy, that they, sure. you can have privacy. Because right. I think, you know, as far as like my core clientele, that was their big concern was, pri well, I don't want to get on there and have everybody know my business, or everybody get into my, you know, right. then they're scared of identity theft and everything else. Like, it's yeah. scary for them. Yeah, but I think there's some great, like I said, some great tips and, and tools that you can use. And obviously, these will transfer over to your personal as well as your professional social media outreach. But well, it'll be a good way. There's a benefit to feeling like you know what you're doing. You know, nobody likes feeling incompetent. And so when you get on there and you're like, is this it's the intimidating. right thing? Is that the right thing? It is. So having someone teach you, okay, this is specifically how you can market your business with Facebook and be effective at it, mm -hmm. you know, or other forms of social media, um, I think that's a huge benefit. Yeah, it sounds like a great idea. It's certainly something I need help with. <laughs> Clouds. It's overwhelming <laughs> sometimes. Well, good. Well, thanks so much for your time today, and we'll be back on 843 TV.